storm is beginning to bear down on the PD region of South Carolina, making its way inland. Yeah, Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy live tonight in Florence, South Carolina. So Robin, what are you seeing there? So Morgan and Alicia, the rain is still coming down pretty hard, but the intensity isn't quite as much as it was about an hour ago. I can still see the rain, though, blowing across the road and the wind really whipping up those flags there. Florence County, they're prepared for this storm, and crews have traveled hundreds of miles away from home just to help out here in Florence. Now, we have seen off and on downpours, big batches of heavy rain this afternoon in Florence County. The concern is that could lead to flooding of the major rivers here in the PD region. Region. And that's why teams of first responders came all the way from Tennessee to help out. They're stationed at the Howe Springs Fire Department in Florence with two teams and a crew of 24 people total specializing in rescuing people trapped by the floods and getting people out of fast moving floodwaters. Listen to what they said that they ran into in nearby Dillon, South Carolina in 2018 during Hurricane Florence. What we saw was um, the PD River and the little PD River were flooding um, pretty good and we responded to some of the people stuck in floodwaters and then it stayed around a while so we ended up having to go help uh, get people that had medical emergencies just be able to get them to services that they needed. A big service that they could be providing again here with Debbie and Florence County is under a mandatory curfew. That's from sundown to sun up and that's because the storm could be really dangerous at night and they don't want people to be driving around there. So they only want people to be out and about if they're going to or from work. I'm live in Florence, South Carolina, Robin Kennedy. Queen City News. All right.